Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? I'm coming to you from Maui in Hawaii, where Qualcomm is doing, once again, their tech summit, talking about a lot of announcements here, moving into 2019, and shedding some Hawaiian light onto all of their new products. Day one was all about that 5G, so before we get into the Snapdragon 855, let me just give a few thoughts on 5G from yesterday's uh, keynote. It might be kind of hard to get super excited about 5G, but I hope that I can give at least a few sentences, a few thoughts that will provide some of this insight. If you had a phone, a smartphone maybe if you were lucky, back in the early 2010s or the late 2000s, then you may have been there for the transition from 2G to 3G to HSPA+, and then finally to LTE. That transition was really exciting because we saw even more content and more stuff just come to our computing platforms, including mobile. And as the internet got faster, the internet that is always in our pocket, content itself started to evolve. The very things that we did on the internet started to evolve as well. And that's exactly the kind of excitement that uh, Qualcomm hopes that everyone will have when it comes to 5G. They certainly are super excited about it themselves. And one thing is clear yesterday, it's coming because there were representatives from so many different companies that were here just pledging their support for it. People from Verizon, from AT&T, and even from uh, places abroad like in the UK, a representative from EE was here being able to talk about how they're bringing 5G to England. But with all of that, let's go ahead and get into the Snapdragon 855. And there were a few main pillars that Qualcomm focused on in order to provide some insight into what this updated platform will do for smartphones. We have to start off with the elephant in the room and that's gaming. I have here the Razer Phone 2, of which I finally have a review of ready to go. So you're probably seeing it around the time this video comes out. So make sure you check that out. But the reason why I have the Razer Phone 2 here is just to illustrate how the Snapdragon 845 has already proved itself as a great gaming platform. And some of these manufacturers manufacturers are adding cooling systems on top of it to even give it that better push. So imagine the cooling systems and then just how much the 855 is going to provide. There were a lot of different numbers that were being thrown out on stage, but one thing is very clear. This is a big leap, perhaps the biggest leap between generations for the Qualcomm Snapdragon line. On top of the updated Adreno GPU, there's going to be something called Elite Gaming Experience. Elite Gaming provides HDR cinematic color grading and support for the Vulkan 1.1 graphics library, among other things. That Vulkan edition is actually really great because it brings the graphics library you kind of see in many PC and console games and it makes it available to smartphones for mobile. And of course, like I mentioned before, the 5G or faster internet that is possible in the 855 because it has the modems needed for even faster faster Wi-Fi and faster mobile internet means that multiplayer gaming should be even faster and better than before. Of course, audio and visual get their enhancements as well as the 855 will be able to provide HDR10 plus playback and also 120 frames per second rendering. Again, here comes the Razer Phone 2 again, a great example of what is about to come standard on the processor that is the 855. So as long as we see some manufacturers put some 120 hertz refresh rate screens on there, the great scrolling experience that we already see on this particular phone could become more prevalent. Audio is actually really exciting for me as well because there are some enhancements in AptX. We now have AptX Adaptive, which is able to lower the latency that many people experience on their Bluetooth headsets. One particular demo showed the original experience with a previous generation processor and then moved to AptX Adaptive. The change was palpable. It felt like a one-to-one -one experience pressing the keys of a keyboard on a phone that they had a reference design and hearing the sound immediately rather than having that little pause in between. And I can't forget my true wireless earbuds. You know, I love them. I have a bunch of them already. Uh, Qualcomm has developed in their new chips a true wireless stereo plus capability where dedicated streams are sent out to both earbuds independently. That way the processing doesn't have to send a stream to one earbud and then it has to process the rest to the other one. Instead, it's two dedicated streams, which means that you can get even better connectivity and also better audio. In terms of camera processing, Qualcomm's really doing a lot to ensure that on the processor level, you can get the same level of results that you can get from, let's say, the Pixel because of Google's data-driven processing. The Spectra 380 ISP integrates with a lot of hardware accelerated computer vision capabilities, basically meaning that you have so much more processing on here. And overall, with everything that this processor can do, it can do up to 7 trillion, actually more, more than 7 trillion operations per second. When applied to the camera, the computer vision ISP allows for depth sensing even during video capture. So that means that you can do not only 4K HDR at 60 frames per second, but the camera in real time while recording video can actually discern between the foreground and the background and add bokeh elements, much like a portrait mode, only this time it's in video. 
I mentioned before all of the operations that this processor can do per second, more than 7 trillion, and all of that comes together through the multi-cores in order to provide better artificial intelligence. Simply put, this processor can do a ton of stuff at once, and that includes not only voice assistants with things like Google Assistant, but even representatives from Google Lens were here to show us how their application can take advantage of what is provided in this processor. But speaking of voice assistants, there was also a demo that I was able to check out where their reference device was easily able to cut out the ambient noise or even the noise coming out of the phone itself, like a piece of music that you might be listening to at the time. The same technology can also be used during things like calls or video calls. So if you're in a very noisy environment, the phone will have the capacity to pull just your voice out. And that way the call is a lot easier to do. And all of this happening on a seven nanometer process. That's a ton of stuff that is available now to our manufacturers. Uh, everybody from Samsung to Sony to LG will be able to take advantage of all of these features as long as they implement them and provide the rest of the smartphone to take advantage of it. So it's really exciting to see what the Snapdragon 855 will be able to provide our smartphones as long as the manufacturers will be able to build a smartphone around this chip that takes advantage of everything it is providing. And that's something that we'll really look forward to in 2019. I know I certainly am, especially in the gaming and in the camera sections. Uh, 4K video capture and the ability to do even bokeh out video in real time, that's really exciting. And then of course, when it comes to entertainment, we're going to see just how well the screens and the gaming performance of the gaming phones we've seen this year gets enhanced when on the processor level, Qualcomm is paying a lot of attention to it. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to even more about the Snapdragon 855 in the upcoming year when all the phones that support it will come out. Uh, but for now, we're going to have a little bit more time here in Hawaii to check out more that Qualcomm has to show us as there are other announcements that are going to happen, but I know this is the one you were really waiting for. So thank you so much for watching. Go and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with everything that I'm up to, including more reviews like the Razer Phone 2, which should be coming out around this time and you can look forward to even more videos after that but until then i will go ahead and see you in the next one and remind you to enjoy your tea everybody